video is going to be about um, some different foods that we have now introduced to Ella. Um, my last video was about sippy cups and stage two foods and that kind of thing. Um, and this one's going to be about what she's eating now um, and some ideas for people who want to get some some different things that they can pick up and eat and um, practice like with solids and all. Um, most of these things we have tried with her. Um, the first thing I'll show you is some of the, the Gerber ga graduate things and um, she does like the puffs. Um, this one is strawberry apple. We haven't tried any other flavors with her. They do make other flavors like sweet potato and um, some weird flavors. <laughs> Cheerios. She loves these Cheerios. You can just buy a big old box of Cheerios and it survives to fashion can't even say the word but anyways um, <laughs> it will save you money in the long run because these are like a dollar and 25 cents for a small container like that um, then we got these little crunchies which um, she loves cinnamon maple crunchies um, they make other ones like veggie and cheddar cheese and that kind of thing um, these are carrots and green beans they come in um, you can get them from Walmart and the little carrots are like cubes so she can easily pick those up and eat them and then the green beans um, we have to watch very carefully with her because she will um, choke on those um, the diced apples Gerber graduate diced apples which um, they are in little cubes as well you can get those at Walmart or Target um, we haven't tried these with her yet, but these are little raviolis, and they don't have the sauce in them. It's just like beef and tomato raviolis. Um, there is one thing that I forgot to put down here. Let me see if I can... Ah, uh, yes, here they are. These little... I might have showed you these, these in the last video, but these little biscuits. They, um, they're a bit messy, but she loves these things. They're like cookies, and they dissolve very quickly. Um... And then, before I show you those, I'll show you, um, she is eating, um, like, uh, meat foods now. She does eat the stage two meats, but she will not eat stage three foods because they have chunks in them. And she just, you know, uh, eats the baby food part and then spits the chunks out. So, she doesn't like chunks in her food, um, which is perfectly fine. They told me at the doctor's office that some babies don't take the stage three foods. So just continue with the stage two foods and get the uh, meat stuff. So um, this one is macaroni and beef with vegetables. I haven't tried this yet with her, but um, her favorite is turkey and rice. They also have like flavors like um, apples and chicken. They have um, a chicken and rice dinner. And they have a vegetable chicken, which is in the Gerber. That's the vegetable and chicken. Um, and they also have, this is organic stuff, uh, the Gerber Organics, um, chicken with country vegetables and rice. She doesn't get all organic food. We have thought about when she does go to whole milk, we have a organic farm about 30 minutes from us that we might get her milk from. So, anyways, um, these little things I haven't tried with her yet, but they're for nine months plus. They are called Benders, and they're by Boone, um, kind of like uh, the Boone Spoon, but these are these little benders that they can uh, feed themselves with. They do start um, encouraging um, that babies feed themselves at 10 months old, not by 10 months old, but they, they say, you know, you should start at 10 months old trying to get them to use the fork and the spoon. So we plan on using these this week and trying to get her to see, you know, what she does. Um, Something I forgot to pull out is these little bowls that I bought. They're from Target and they were in the dollar section. They came in a pack of two. Um, so I'm hoping to use those to help her with uh, self-feeding um, with the spoon and the fork. And uh, they make all kinds of bowls and different things. Um, one thing I forgot to bring down was we got this sippy cup yesterday. This is something new that Nook has put out. I love Nook products. Um, she drank from a Nook bottle. We also tried the uh, Nook sippy cup with her, which is this one. Um, she didn't really take to it because 
She didn't realize that you had to uh, suck from it. She was trying to do like with her other sippy cups where you just tilt it up and it pours out. Basically, because I took the little stopper thing out. But with this one, you cannot take a stopper thing out. It is just naturally uh, spill proof. So um, we're going to try this cup with her again, though, because um, I think this is the cup we might take to use for uh, daycare. Um, but yes, we bought this cup yesterday. It's for 12 months plus, so we probably won't introduce it just quite yet. Nook does make a uh, sippy cup that has handles that's for 9 to 18 months. Unfortunately, we could not find that one yesterday, so we're going to probably go out today and look for that one. But this one is for 12 months plus. It's called the Nook Active Cup. It has like a little clip here that you can um, you can put onto like a belt or something. But the, uh, I don't know, the nipple here is a, a soft silicone nipple and um, it does you do have they do have to suck from this one um, but it's almost like a bottle but um and it does have like the little air thing to catch air bubbles still like the uh, regular nook bottle nipple does but I just thought it was a really cute cup it has like a princess and a little dragon with a little castle on it so um, we decided to get that one for her to try that when she's a year old but right now she's doing these cups She's not really picky about her cups, so, you know, we just get some cute cups for her and, and try them out on her. But um, she does drink from these cups, which this is a, both of these are Playtex cups. And um, this one is for beginners for four months on one. But, of course, you're not supposed to introduce one until six months. But um, if you do it before then, that's fine. Um, anyways, this one here is the Playtex uh, cup. It's for nine months plus. And it's called the Playtex Insulator, and um, she it takes really well to that one. Also, we have this sippy cup that is from the Tupperware company, and it's got Mickey and Donald and some really cute characters on it. Uh, now I just sound like I'm advertising, but um, these are the cups she does take from. Um, I think that's all the sippy cups we have. Her also. I got these from the Disney store, which our Disney store closed, unfortunately. But these are little snack cups that we use. Um, she's at Nana's this weekend, so we do have a uh, cup that we put the snacks in and we uh, sent there. So these are really good for snack cups. Um, I do like uh, the snack ball that is by Boone, but they say it's kind of small, so I don't know. Um, but that is a really cute little thing that snacks in. So anyways, uh, just some products I thought I'd show you guys that we're using now. Um, this is this is uh, for a month, almost um, 10 months old, but um, she is in month 10 technically. So anyways, but if you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section. Uh, most of these things you can get from Walmart or Target, uh, except for the Tupperware cup. <laughs> um, so comments are welcome. And thanks for watching.